Welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, click that like button, turn on notifications, give all a huge thumbs up. Good morning, friends. My name is Ina Irby, and I'm a mom. Courage to change. July 5th. I think the word detachment is often misunderstood. For me, detachment is the freedom to own what is mine and to allow others to own what is theirs. This freedom allows me to keep my own identity and still love, care about, and identify with the feelings of others. In fact, I believe that the degree of our humanity can be measured by our ability to know another person's pain and joy. I have been practicing the principles of Al Anon to the best of my abilities for a long time. But when someone in the fellowship shares about having a difficult time, I can go right back to day one. I no longer live with that type of emotional pain, but I can feel theirs. I can identify without needing to remove their pain. To me, that is an Al Anon success story. Today, I don't have to like everything my alcoholic loved one says or does. And I don't have to change her, even when I think she's wrong. I continue to learn how to care without taking everything personally. Today's reminder, I can detach and still love, still feel. I can learn to take care of my own business while allowing others to tend to theirs. Today, I can detach without losing compassion. The quote is from George Herbert, quote, love your neighbor, yet pull not down your hedge, end quote. I'll read that again. Love your neighbor, yet pull not down your hedge. Courage to change. Affirmations for the inner child. It's on protection. Today I will protect my feelings with healthy reflexes. Reflexes protect the body. A sneeze helps to blow dust and other irritants out of the nose. Shivers warm the body with quick muscle movements. Reflexes are outside the realm of conscious control. In recovery, I'm developing emotional reflexes that protect me. I am aware of put downs that people make in conversations. I sense my discomfort and then I act I may change the subject or end the conversation. I pay attention to crazy feelings when my mind blanks out around certain family members. I no longer participate in the unhealthy behaviors that I learned in my dysfunctional family. Today, I will protect my feelings with healthy reflexes and restore my inner harmony with positive actions. Affirmations for the inner child. I hope this helps you on your healing journey, friends.